The first task in configuring Parallels Browser Isolation is to add an identity provider. Now, what we need here is to have an OpenID Connect provider configured. This is a fairly standard process. We're not going to cover how to configure that OpenID Connect provider in this video. We're going to assume that you have configured that within the IDP. What you need to do is take that information, for example, the domain, the discovery URL, the client ID you will have created and the client secret and you supply that information here. So before we can proceed, you would go to your IDP, obtain this information that we need to enter in here together with uh, the username, claim name and the group's claim name and then save that configuration. Once you click on save, you will get a green light to say the configuration is successful. The next step is to set up administrators. So you go into the admin management button and you determine either users or groups or both, which are already present inside that IDP that you've just configured. These users and groups will be administrators for your Parallels browser isolation solution. You can add additional administrators or indeed remove them later on, but this just sets up the administrators for the first configuration. What you then do is click on the admin sign in button and sign in as one of those administrators that you've just configured. Put the username and password in for that administrator. As you can see, we'll be using Microsoft Azure as our IDP there. And there you go, you get access to your Parallels Browser Isolation dashboard. And that concludes the video on adding an identity provider to Parallels Browser Isolation. To find out more about how Parallels Browser Isolation works, Tune in to the rest of the videos in this Tech Byte series.